Right, so this is a quick demo showing you how to build with ADF faces in Eclipse. Um, so I'm skipping the boring parts of setting up a project, uh, connecting it with a WebLogic instance, defining manage bins and stuff like that. I'm just going to focus on the actual experience of building a JSP page. So you start with a new JSP, and um, you can choose a template for your JSP, and this includes ADF faces template, like the three column template. Or we're just going to use the one column, which is a very basic setup for your template. Um, basically what you have here, you can also split the screen um, to actually see the visual view, right, like that, or like that. Sorry. Um, you have panel stretch layout, and what I'm going to do now is use the ADF faces palette over here on the right, and I'm just going to drag component server, so for example we can use the decorative box and just put it inside the center facet like that. Okay. So the component itself has a couple of facets in it, so we can use the code insight and then define uh, the center facet for the box. Okay. And inside the center facet, we might want to use another component. So let's take up, for example, the panel splitter component. Okay. Let's bring it over in here. You can set the orientation. Right, so you get like code insight here, and the position like that. Right. And again, uh, splitter has a couple of facets in it. So um, there's the first one, and then, surprisingly enough, there's one called the second one. Right. Then again, um, you can see the two things up here. So what you can do now is you can actually take, for example, um, another layout component. So take the panel tab and bring it over to the first one. Right. We can position the tabs above or below or however we like it. Right. Like that. And then, so inside the tab, we're going to use a show detail item, which is just dragging over here. Okay, and that would be the first tab, so we can call it tab one, for example. Okay, and we can add another one just after this one. Like that. Okay, so we got the two tabs, and then in the second part of the page, we can use again another layout component. Um, let's use the panel collection. And just put it um, right here inside the second part in here. Right. So inside the panel collection, you usually put a table. So let's take the table component. drag and drop it in here. Okay, And one of the nice things here is that we can actually automatically generate and um, bind it to something from our manage bins. For example, I have a list of cats here. We call each one row. You can see which columns are in there and just add them. Like that. Right, so now we have a table as well. Um, the table, by the way, has a set of properties that you can change. So this is where you can see the property editor. So, for example, we can allow things such as single uh, row selection and multiple uh, column selection, things like that. Okay. Um, similarly, if we go, for example, to the um, decorative box here, can see other properties for the decorative box. Right, so for example we can set the color scheme here to be medium. Like that. Right. Um, so at this stage we can actually save the page and run it. And it's automatically deployed to the web logic that now comes here. And you get your page to show up. Right. So you got like two tabs up here. You got a splitter here that you can resize. Okay, move things around, and you get a table. And the table, if you're not familiar with the ADF table, it's very rich in functionality. You can resize columns like that. Okay, and um, then you can move columns around like that. You can freeze one column, right, and scroll the rest of the data like that. Okay, and you can do a lot of other um, operations. For example, hide one of the columns. 
like that. You can also detach it into sort of a floating window and see the data. So that's about it. Uh, happy ADF development in Eclipse!